how are you feeling? Obviously, you went through a lot last year. I feel great, man. Um, super extremely blessed to be here. Um, uh, playing with the guys that I'm playing with, been playing with for a while, um, and uh, I feel really good. Uh, might say I'm 32 on paper, but I'm out here feeling like I'm 26 again. So it was a really good off season down in down in Florida. Uh, spent a lot of time with the family, a lot of time training, obviously, but uh, feel really good to be back here, back here, back out here again. Did last year bring perspective and a new appreciation for being next to him because you guys weren't, and even next to Trey and things like that, now being back out there all together. Again. Yeah, man, it's kind of surreal. Uh, I think the last time we took a snap together was that Thanksgiving game when Trey went down, um, talking about all three of us together. And then, uh, you know, obviously with Micah going down last year, um, and then, you know, myself in and out of the lineup. It's just cool to get that rhythm back going again. Um, it almost seems like it never left. Uh, so it was really fun to be, be around those guys again and, and playing football with those guys. I knew you were back not four months ago. You obviously found out that you were going to be sticking around and stuff, and you did the OTAs and stuff. But is there a different realization coming back to Rochester and being like, okay, like we're back and I'm still in Buffalo, and this is going to be where I spend my time? Yeah, you know, I just just being present here, man, and and really just enjoying all the moments. Um, you know, I was kind of my first time going through free agency in the off season, and. Uh, you know, it was uh, it was pretty pretty crazy, but I'm super, like I said earlier, I'm super thankful and super blessed to be here with the guys that I've been playing with for a long time, the coaches that have been coaching me for a long time, um, and you know, I, I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, this is this is these are my guys. These are this is why this is what I do. This is why I love to do it. You know, I'm playing football with my guys. That's that's all it's about. Is there any differences with Sean McDermott, the defensive coordinator, like in camp so far? Is it kind of been like pretty? <laughs> it, you know, he it's. He's pretty intense, uh, which is awesome. Um, you know, he uh, he's in the meetings a lot more with us. Um, you know, he says when he's in our meetings, he's the he's the defensive coordinator. So you know, he's not the head coach, and so it, it, it's really cool to have that open dialogue with with Sean and and be able to just go back and forth talking ball with him. And um, you know, obviously with Micah and myself and Tredavious and you know a couple other guys on the back end. You know, he has trust in us as much as we have trust in him. And so you know, really having that open dialogue and continuing to just see how we can find ways to get better on the football field. Mike talked about he, he has a sense or you know the the aggressive McDermott type approach and without giving away X's and O's. How how would you describe that if you've noticed any type of difference in the mindset and how he wants things? I, I think that's how he's always been. Um, you know, I think back when he was coaching in Carolina, it was pretty similar um, as the as the coordinator, and so. You know, it, it, aggressive is a good word. Um, you know, we want to be able to dictate. We don't want to be dictated. We want to do the dictation. I don't even know if that's a word, but uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, we just we, we just never playing on our heels. You know, just attacking. You know, and and they make a play. All right, we line up again, and we're gonna keep attacking. And that's got to be the mindset that we have this training camp and even going into the season, just to attack and uh, and then go make plays. Does Sean, the defensive coordinator, talk smack about the offense when he's in the room, or, or what? How is no, it a little different? Talks more smack about us in the room. Uh, you know, he'll come in there today and he'll say, "Yeah, the offense got one up on you guys." You know, he came he came in there yesterday to try to butter us up a little bit because um, I think we had four picks in practice and he was sitting there. Oh, you, you guys did a good job. You know, I knew he was trying to butter us up. And then you know, we come out here. We had a, a okay day today, but you know, I think the offense maybe got one up. So we'll definitely hear about it in uh, in the meetings. And that, that's what training camp is, man. We're just out here to continue to make make each other better. Um, that's a, 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 a the best quarterback in the game, best receiver in the game, and they're making us better, and we're making them better, and that's how we're going to get better and, and get to our goal. What you enjoyed and loved playing for Leslie. What, uh, what was the first part? As much as you enjoyed and yeah. loved playing for Leslie, how different is it to have the, the change, not having Leslie there, and now having a new voice in that room? Um, is is it different? I mean, what what does that do? I don't see much difference. You know, obviously Leslie is a great coach, a coach that I had, I respect, and and you know he's he did a great job in his time here um, with the Bills. Um, and I wouldn't say it's any different. You know, it's just a, more just a new voice. Um, you know, maybe new ideas, uh, maybe new ways of looking at things, um, and uh, it's good for us. You know, it's just you all, the, the game is ever evolving. It's continuing to evolve even from since I've been in the league in 2013. The, ga the game has changed so so much and so with uh, talking about offenses and with that you got to adjust defensively. You know, you got to evolve as, as well and so um, you know, I think that's where that attack mindset is going to come in and we're going to have to play, you know, just we're going to have to attack. And do you think in that sense because Sean has had to deal with offenses now as a head coach, something that he didn't have as a defensive coordinator that experience. But now that he's had to deal with offenses, he has 
a, a, a different perspective on, on how Absolutely. to coach defense, if Absolutely. you know what I'm saying. I would agree. I would agree with that. Jordan, I know you said you feel 26, but you did yesterday or the other day. Steph talks about understanding that he has more football behind him than in front of him. Right. <laughs> how do you approach training camp, you personally, like at this point in, in your career? Um, look, I'm going on year 11. Um, this is this is a game. Um, it's a game that I love and I appreciate and that I respect. Um, it's not who I am. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not going to define me as a person if I go out there and miss a tackle. Um, you know, at the same time, I truly love this game. Um, this game has given me everything that you could ever ask for. And, you know, for me, it's the respect that I have for the game that that keeps me motivated and the love that I have for the game and then plus my teammates um, like I said guys that I've been here with for, for seven years um, I want to be the best version of myself for them and you know in the end we'll look back and you know hopefully holding that Lombardi trophy up and and if not this game doesn't define any of us your jobs don't define any of you um, you know it's not who you are deep down and so when you kind of have that perspective it, it kind of frees up a little bit it kind of gives you a little bit more freedom to to you know not necessarily play scared or or play you know on your heels and and just being able to go attack like that's that's aggressive and and something happens line up next play and, and do it again i you know i've played in this league long enough to understand there's gonna be plays that i make there's gonna be plays that i don't make you know and how are you gonna respond to that how are you gonna keep moving forward um because that's that's the game of football and that's obviously life as well you know there's things that are thrown at you in life that you got to respond to which how are you going to respond to it you're going to go this way you're going to go that way and and so uh, you know i take that perspective with football as well and uh you know i'm really i'm really excited about this this season um i like i said i'm super blessed and thankful to be back here with the boys Mike said that he's a uh, heightened sense of urgency, and he says he's kind of running around. And he's like, younger guys probably think I'm crazy just by how intense it is. Just understanding again, yeah. there are fewer training camps ahead of you Absolutely. than there are behind yeah, you. Yeah, you just, I mean, you learn to appreciate it. You learn to appreciate every moment. You learn to be present in every moment. You know, you, we're laughing all day with the guys, and, and uh, you know, it's really, for myself, I've really been trying to just while I'm in moments with my boys or while I'm in moments with you guys, um, even just walking through the building just to be off of my phone, you know, and just to be in those moments, whether we're talking ball or we're talking life, you know, and, and it's those moments that you learn to appreciate um, and, 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 and cherish, you know, because you look back 20 years from now and, and then, you know, those are the moments that you'll, that you'll crack jokes about and those are the moments that, uh, that you'll remember. Jordan, kind of along those lines, Considering how banged up you got last year, I know you've been every snap player most of your career, and this is going to go against everything you are as a player, but is there any logic to you being a 95% snap player, a 90% to either A, bring out the best version of yourself, or B, add more years after your life? <laughs> um, I'm going to try to process that question. Um, I think just I'm not worried about, like, playing next year. Like, I'm worried about – I'm not worried about what happened last year. No, absolutely. Maybe in practice, but not <laughs> not a game. Um, trying to play 100% of the snaps, I'm gonna be out there. You know, that's that's my mindset. You know, I want to be out there. <laughs> um, you know, I know they're probably gonna take care of me at some point in, during this training camp. You know, just because you turn 30, you turn 30 in the NFL, you're now an old guy. So um, I'm 32, and uh, so I am one of the older guys on the team. I'm an old guy apparently, which is crazy to me, but. Um, yeah, man, I want to be out there, and and that's in a sense why I played probably half the season hurt last year, um, which is because I wanted to be out there for my teammates, um, and I love this game and I appreciate this game, and uh, it's like I said, it's given me really everything that I could ever ask for. The desire to stay in the moment. I am. The desire to the want to stay in the moment, as you said, well, not put my cell phone down. How much of that is a result of age, where you are at 32? And also maybe a result of just what ha what went on last season, how exhausting, mentally draining it was that gave you maybe, right. maybe some perspective. Yeah, it gave me a lot of perspective. Um, just I learned a lot about myself last year. Um, just uh, there was times where I'm sure my wife would tell you, like, you know, I'm coming home, I can barely walk up the stairs. Um, coming home, just... You know, I started getting. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was the hardest season I probably ever went through. Um, I just felt, I wasn't, I wasn't myself. Playing injured, um, ribs, elbow, uh, foot. Um, 
and and it was tough but at the same time looking back I wouldn't change it um, I learned a lot about myself then I learned the you know the, just the just what I can what I can persevere through you know and if I can persevere through something like last season like I mean that's that's that was that I can do anything you know I, I truly believe that and so um, you know with age yes comes you know learning about myself and learning how to control my emotions control you know being on the phones and 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 you know because when I was younger you know when I was younger you know and you the, the phone nowadays man it's just it, to me it's like poison dude. like you just you go on well, they even call it I don't even have Twitter no more but they call it X you go on there it's a for you page and it's just nothing but negative stuff on there that you're reading about anything and I didn't I didn't like I didn't like those negative things being attached to me throughout the day um, so I was putting those away and, and focusing on caring for my teammates, caring for my family, you know, caring for the people around me. Um, that's given me a lot more, a lot different perspective on, on, uh, on myself and, and, and what I'm able to and capable of doing. Jordan, quick going back to your relationship with Micah, he, he had just told us that he plays at his best when he's next to you. Do you feel the same and why do you think that is? You know, mutual between the two. Absolutely. I mean, we play together for so long, like we just know, we hear a call and I automatically know where he's going. He automatically knows where I'm going. And we just, there's like one or two words said to each other and boom, like we play in ball. It's like, um, it, it, it's truly, um, I mean, not even just Micah, you know, Milano, Tredavious, Taryn, like we've been, we've built this thing and Dane, and we've built this thing to, to have the trust in each other. Um, and I think that's huge. You know, there was I, I look back at times when I was in Cleveland and, and playing in that in a secondary out there. Guys didn't trust each other. We had all the talent in the world. Um, and you could argue that we maybe had more talent than we had that we have here. But at the same time, guys just didn't play for each other. Guys didn't trust each other. And that's hard to play ball with. You know, that's really hard to play, play especially on the back end with when you when you play with a bunch of guys that – you don't necessarily trust. You don't necessarily know where they're going to be at. But with those guys that we've been playing with on the back end, and um, and, and and with Milano, and you know even T Dot coming back in the mix, it's it's been really special to learn um, to learn about each other and learn how to trust each other. I know it's a different position group, but Balen Spector got an opportunity today. What did you see from him in front of you this afternoon and, and overall uh, throughout camp? And yeah, man, he's a, he's a ball player, dude. Um, just a guy who, who's around the ball, seems like, all the time. Um, you know, he had. I'm sure he, he, he wants the INT back that he dropped today, but it was a hell of a play. I mean, he read it really nice, and um, Josh kind of put some air on it, and it kind of went up, and it was just one of those plays, probably 50-50. you probably catch five out of ten of those. So, um, But he's a, he's a really good football player, um, and I, it's really been cool to see him grow as a football player from last year to this year and really take control of that huddle when he's in there. Um, so I'm excited to see his, his, his growth in this defense and, and where he goes. Is it surreal to think about – when you and Micah both got here, that now you guys are kind of the very, <laughs> very, very surreal. We were talking about that yesterday after practice. It's like one of the, like, yeah, it is very surreal actually. And but to think that maybe Micah, may, Micah's career could have been over with that injury, and you may not have been here, but right. here you are again. Right. It's just the way the universe works, man. This is it's, it's truly a blessing and. Like I said, I'm just trying to take it all in, be present in these moments. I'm not worried about what's going to happen this off season or next year. You know, this is this is my time. You know, this is our time um, to be here, to to learn, to grow, to evolve as a as a people and and as a football team. And uh, let the dominoes fall how they fall. You know, we're gonna we're gonna play. We're gonna play hard. And uh, you know, there's gonna be some ups. There's gonna be some downs. That's the season. You know, um, the likelihood of us going 17 and 0. You would love to, um, but you know, being realistic, there's gonna be ups and downs. That's the NFL. You're gonna have to learn how to handle what's thrown at you each and every week. And so, uh, we're ready for the challenge. And you know, we're gonna continue to practice hard, go through training camp, and 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 get, make each other better. And when that time comes, we'll be ready to play.